Here's the setup for this demonstration. I've got a DEM with values that are equal and opposite, 89 meters above and 89 meters below a baseline. Um, and what I'd like to do is change this middle value. I really like the red and the green. I like how dark they get. So I like to use uh, this color ramp, even though it's um, colorblind, unfriendly. Uh, it represents um, that this is sort of a mistake and this is the true value. So these intuitively make sense to me, but the yellow is implying a warm uh, because you know red tends to be a warm color and green tends to be a cool color. This doesn't feel like a true neutral to me and I'd like to change this to either um, a white or a gray because I'm not sure. This would be the area of uh, representing my margin of error and so I don't really want to impose a color on it. I want to remove it from the scene. So let's go into the symbology of this layer here. And I just have it draped using a multiply blend uh, over the base map. I can turn the base map off and you'll see. So it's just, it's just a standard, um, like a DEM of difference is basically what it is. Okay, all right, in the symbology, we can customize the color scheme by formatting. And what I want to do is basically just change this middle value to something neutral. So I just click on that tab and let's make it a light gray color. Um, and then what I usually do is just remove uh, the stops that are in between my new color and where it starts to turn uh, into the color I want. And by selecting that one, I can just cross it out and same with this one. Let's just cross it out. And then arc blends between my neutral and the other stop that was there. So already we've, we really now have gray uh, blending to red and gray blending to the dark green. And I, I'm happy with the way that looks. I could save it to a style if I was going to use this color ramp over and over again, but I'm just going to, uh, going to employ it here. And I, I like the way this looks already. Um, already you can see that uh, we don't have that yellow background anymore. We're really focusing on places where, um, you know, we have errors and uh, more true values. And that looks much better. So it's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, again, just formatting the color scheme.